Hey guys, five weeks down, seven weeks to go of gaining weight. This week's topic is motivation. In week two, I asked you to define what motivates you, so this week I'm gonna tell you what motivates me and what's carrying me throughout this entire journey. Number one is quotes, photos, and videos. I like to keep quotes around, whether I write them on my mirror or save them as my phone background, to remind me of the things that I'm trying to accomplish in life. Photos. Find a photo of the body you wish to achieve, whether it's on Instagram, in your favorite fitness magazine, or maybe even on an old photo of you if you've gotten out of shape over the years, and refer to these photos whenever you tend to cheat your diet or skip a workout to remind you of what you're trying to achieve. Videos. This was one of the biggest motivational factors for me. My biggest inspiration in fitness is Dana Lynn Bailey. For those of you who aren't familiar with the bodybuilding industry, Dana Lynn Bailey is the first and current Mrs. Olympia for IFBB Pro Physique. I actually had the opportunity to meet Dana at the 2013 Arnold Classic in Columbus, Ohio. Dana chose me out of 615 applicants to train with her for an MHP video shoot. We finally narrowed it down to Jennifer, um, who I actually met on Saturday, and she is the cutest little thing I've ever seen in my entire life. The whole reason I picked Jennifer and what stood out to me is she actually inspires me. Her story and what she had to deal with growing up and just the struggles she had to deal with and she's now over that and getting her life back together. So not only do I inspire her, but she's inspiring me. So it's overall just like an inspirational workout today. I seriously can't watch her train without wanting to tie my shoes and head straight to the gym. Her videos are awesome and you can find them at youtube.com slash Dana Lynn Bailey. Dummy rap, running, running, running circles, ran you on my final lap. What you think of that? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a thundercat. I reign from now till the church puts me under that. Sneaking out the side door, can't use the entrance. Is this real life? Or David at the dentist, screaming, run, tell that. Homeboy, I'm next level. I'm Mike Tyson in the booth, I'm the devil. Hold on to my my next inspiration is you. For those of you who have left me messages and comments and emails telling me how much I've inspired you so far along the way is the ultimate motivation for me and I thank you so much for that. Even if you haven't left a comment and you're just quietly following along, as each video's view count grows, it pushes me every day to know that I've shared my goals with you, you're expecting me to reach these goals, and I'm now accountable for that. Accountability is key. Try this, and I don't mean go crazy and tell everybody all over the internet like I did, but do tell those close to you. Tell your family, tell your friends, and tell your coworkers what your specific goals are and that you plan to reach them confidently. Why is this so important? Because it holds you to your word. Have you ever tried to reach fitness goals in the past and kept quiet about them, 
just in case you didn't reach them to spare yourself the embarrassment. People do this all the time and they don't realize by keeping quiet they're setting themselves up for failure. As weird as it sounds, you're more likely to let yourself down than others. So even if you don't want to tell people what you specifically plan on doing, tell them what you specifically plan on not doing. For instance, if you're going to start by not having sugar or by cutting out the fast foods and soda, or even if you already live a healthy lifestyle but you tend to cheat your diet or skip the gym more often than you'd like, be vocal about your desire to change these habits. Once it's out in the open and people know what you're trying to achieve, I guarantee this will drive you to reach your goals with more motivation than you ever imagined possible. Now, let's go see how much weight I've gained. 133.2. I am almost 3 pounds up since last week. That's 19 pounds total. I'm almost halfway there. It's getting a lot harder for me to get my calories in because my body just doesn't want me to eat anymore. My advice for you this week is to speak up and be proud of the goals you're setting. Find what motivates you and surround your life with it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.